Good morning, HHB family. This is your school counselor, Mr. Webster. Today, I would like to share you a story. Before I get started, I hope you're doing well and staying safe. And wanted to let you uh, let you know how much you're missed. I miss my hugs and high fives from my K2 students. I hope y'all are doing well. Um, the story that I'd like to talk to, to share with you today says a terrible thing that happened. Um, so let's get started. Sherman Smith saw the most terrible thing. He was very upset. It really scared Sherman to see such a terrible thing. Sherman did not like feeling so afraid. He didn't want to remember what happened. So Sherman decided not to think about the terrible thing he saw. Sherman thought that would make Sherman thought that would make him feel better. At first, the plan seemed to work. Sherman woke up every morning, he brushed his teeth, and went to school. Sherman played with his friends, he teased his sister, and he walked his dog. Everything seemed all right for a while, but something inside of Sherman was starting to bother him. Sherman had to play more, run faster, and sing louder in order to forget the terrible thing he saw. Other things started happening to Sherman. So sometimes he did not feel hungry. Sometimes his stomach hurt or his head hurt. Sometimes he felt sad, but he did not know why. Sometimes he was nervous for no reason at all. Sometimes he did not sleep very well. Sometimes when he did sleep, he had very bad dreams. The bad dreams scared Sherman. All these things made Sherman angry. It seemed like Sherman was angry all the time. Sherman started getting into trouble at school. Sometimes he felt so angry that he did that he did mean things. Getting into trouble so often made Sherman feel bad. Sherman did not understand all of his bad feelings. He felt confused. Sometimes parents helped children figure out their feelings. Sometimes teachers or other grown-ups helped. That is how Sherman met Miss Maple. Miss Maple helped Sherman think about his feelings. She listened while Sherman talked to her. They played a while. They talked. Sherman did not feel as mixed up when he talked to Miss Maple. Once Miss Sherman and Miss Maple were coloring, she told him to draw a picture of how he felt when he was angry. This seemed like a strange thing to draw, but Sherman did it. After that, Sherman drew, a lots, of, drew lots of pictures, pictures of the pain in his stomach, pictures of the bad dreams he had, pictures of the fear he felt. And at, and at last, pictures of the terrible thing he saw. Sherman and Miss Maple talked about the pictures. He asked if the terrible thing he saw was his fault. Sherman said he worried a lot about that. No, Miss Maple told Sherman, it was not your fault. Sherman told Miss Maple a lot of things. He told her about the bad dreams. 
He told her how scared he felt. He was it was very it was all very hard to do. Miss Maple was proud that Sherman was trying to talk about such hard things. Sherman found out. Sherman found that it it felt good to let his feelings out. Feeling good helped Sherman feel stronger. When Sherman felt stronger, he did not feel so angry. Nothing can change the terrible thing that Sherman saw, but now he does not feel so mean. He's not so scared or worried. His stomach does not hurt as much, and the bad dreams hardly ever happen. Sherman Smith is feeling much better now. He just thought you would want to know. And that is the end of the story. Um, the reason I wanted to share this story is in the story, Sherman was going through some going through some issues that were very diff uh, difficult for him to handle. And Sherman was able to talk to a teacher, talk to a counselor to help him get through his his uh, issues that he was uh, facing at the time. During these times of crisis that we are facing today, if there's any questions, if there's any concerns that you have, you're always welcome to um, call me. If you go to the HH Beam website, you will see my Google Voice number. You're, you're always welcome to call Google Voice on my, uh, on my phone. And we can talk about anything that's going on at home or going on that you're scared about. But I hope you're all doing well and just know that I'm, I'm here for you and you know, your teachers are here for you and we all love you here at HHB. We, and I hope you have a great rest of the day.